Hi guys and welcome to the Algodis YouTube channel. In this video, let us talk about the broker level settings and some of the changes that we have made in the broker level settings that we already had. So till now, we had the option of adding stop loss or target profit to your portfolio or your strategy at the broker level. But now we have added more options to these features. You can now have lock and trail, lock and profit, trailing SL among several features. So in case if you're not aware with the broker level stop loss or target, we have already made a video on it. I'll add the link in the description. You can check out those videos. And for this video, we'll understand the new interface and the several options that we have in the new interface. So let's get on the Algodis platform. Right, so now I am on Algodis platform. And what we have to do now is we have to go on the live trade page. Now, once we are on the live trade page, what we have to do is firstly, I have already logged in with my broker. Now scroll down and I'll start one of the strategies. So I've made a strategy for the broker level setting video and let's go and edit the strategy. So there's not much in this strategy. We have the closest premium of 10 and I'm buying call and put on the weekly basis. So that is the strategy. And this is only for demonstration purpose that if you are running any strategy or if you are running any portfolio, how you can enable the broker level settings on that strategy or portfolio. So let us activate this strategy. But before that, let us save the execution settings. Yes, click on the save button and now we can activate it. So currently I am logged in with IIFL. You can have any other broker for that matter that you will be logged in with. So we will go ahead and activate the strategy. So now my strategy is activated as you can see and my strategy is working now. So now what I have to do is the broker that I have right now, which is IIFL, I have to put broker level settings for this broker. So if you see here to the left, we have the total MTM. And just next to it, we have the broker level MTM that whatever broker you have right now and the strategies that are working on that broker, what is the MTM for that particular broker? So if you had been using multiple brokers that Algodis actually allows, say for example, you have three brokers logged in, Dhan, Zerodha and IIFL. So we would have had boxes for all the three brokers right here. But for now, since we have IIFL, we'll have the MTM for that. So as you can see, I have my broker here and right here you can see that there's an option for add settings. This will allow us to add the broker level setting for this broker. So as soon as I click on the add settings, you can see a box opens up below it that shows my broker level settings. So as you can see, I have my stop loss here. I have my target profit and I have my trailing options. So I can edit these options from this particular button. Now, as soon as I click on the edit button, you can see an interface like this. Earlier on this interface, there used to be two options. That is for stop loss and target profit. So you could add value for stop loss. You could add value for target profit. And these values would be added in rupees, that is in MTM. That is how much stop loss or target profit I want to apply for that broker. So let's say I have 10 strategies running for a particular broker. And if I want to have a stop loss of 2000 for all those strategies combined, you can define that here. So I could put that value as 2000. I might also define the target profit as 5000 that I can do here. So if I want to say that when I have a profit of 5000 on all those strategies combined, my strategy should get exited. Now, right below it, you also have trailing options that we have added. In. Now we have three options available in the trailing options, lock, lock and trail and trail stop loss. So what the lock option says is that when your profit reaches a particular amount, you want to put lock on a certain part of that amount. So if your profit reaches 2000, you may want to put a lock on 1500 out of that. So let's say, for example, if our profit reaches 2000, you want to put a log on uh, say 1000. So you can use lock as a trail option. Or you can also use the lock and trail. Now, what does a lock and trail mean? Well, the first step in lock and trail is you define a lock. So as we did in the last step, once we have a profit of 2000, we want to define that we will lock 1000 rupees. But let's say our profit keeps on increasing. Our profit reaches to 3000, 4000, 5000. But the logged profit that we defined initially was still at 1000 only. So we are missing out on the profit. In order to capture this movement of the profit, we can trail the profit as well. For example, that for increment of 100 rupees profit, we can trail the log by 100. So what this actually means is that in the first step, when our profit is at 2000, we'll have a log at rupees 1000. And every time we have an increment of 100 rupees in profit, our log will also get increased by 100. Now let us understand this better on an Excel sheet. So let us assume we had put the log on rupees 1000. So what we are saying is that when our profit in case it reaches rupees 2000, 
I like to put a lot on rupees thousand. Now what we have defined is we have defined the trailing of rupees hundred on rupees hundred. So as our profit keeps increasing, so as our profit increases by hundred rupees in value, our lock will also increase by hundred rupees in value. So when the profit reaches twenty one hundred, our lock will increase eleven hundred and so on and so forth. So if the profit reaches twenty two hundred, our lock will also increase to twelve hundred, and that is how you can use the lock and trail. And the last option is the trail stop loss. So the trail stop loss is simple. In this case, we don't want to trail the profit. We just want to trail the stop loss. That is all of these strategies, all of the portfolios that we have at the broker level. As these strategies and portfolio keep getting the profit, my stop loss will keep getting increased. So if we put the values for the lock and trail itself, that is the value that we had initially chosen of hundred on hundred, and we save these settings. So our settings will be reflected here. This will be shown here. So right now it is loading. So the settings are being saved, and now you can see that your setting is being shown. So your stop loss was two thousand. Your target profit was five thousand. and the trailing option that you have chosen is the lock and trail so the condition that we had defined was on the profit of rupees 2000 we are putting a lock on rupees 1000 and for every increase in rupees 100 you will trail the profit by rupees 100 again so these settings that we have these can be changed multiple times during a day so let's say you put a setting at 9:30 in the morning and at 11:30 you want to change the settings you can do that as well so for doing that we just have to click on this edit button and the screen will be open and we can change the values here and as we save it we can see that the updated settings will take action so it is updating again yep so now our conditions have been updated for the lock and trail that we have defined now even the target or stop loss can also be changed from here so let's say we want to define the stop loss for 20 and target also we want to define for 20 we can do that as well now we can save it and uh, these settings will get updated so i put the target profit and stop loss of 20 rupees at that point when i made the change and my total m to m on that broker was also 20 so my target profit got hit and my strategy got exited so whichever strategy gets squared off because of a broker level target profit or stop loss getting hit you can check its trades and the message will be shown here that the strategy got exited because of hitting off because it hit the target profit so your broker level target has been hit and that is why your strategy is exited now there are some few key points that i would like to share with you guys first and foremost is that you can change these settings multiple times in a day so there is no restriction on that front secondly if you have multiple brokers on the algodis platform you can have these settings for all the individual brokers so there is no limit on that front as well The third and the last thing I would like to note is that these broker level settings that we have talked about in this video are available only on the live execution as of now. So these are not available in the back testing. So if someday your broker level stop loss or target has been hit and you want to compare that result with the back test, that may not happen. And that is about it for this video. If you have any questions, any doubts, or any suggestions for us, you can reach out to us in the comment section or on our Telegram channel. I'll add the link in the description. And of course, subscribe to us for more. See you in the next video.